Okay, I'm going to do a quick video about how to get a good finish <clears throat> on some of this hot rolled hardware bought, store bought, bought steel. This is just your yeah, average um, horrible steel that you get from the hardware store. As you can see, if you machine it with carbide, you get this sort of finish at slow speeds. Uh, you know, we. We're using a really old lathe here. <clears throat> We've it's pretty much got worn out spindle bearings, worn out gearbox. I'm using the worst lathe I've got for this demonstration on purpose, um, so you can get the idea that it, you know, you can use a really bad lathe and still get a reasonable finish. Um, I might do a video on a better quality lathe. Okay, we're gonna turn this on. <clears throat> it's pretty noisy, and um, we'll see what sort of finish we can get with this. Um, with this tool here, what we got is we got a um, it's what's called a vertical shear tool. Okay, we'll have a bit of a look at it. Right, as you can see, it's, I'll give you a drawing of it. it you, don't, you don't have to have it on center height, you just have it on the center line of the work, roughly in the center line of the tool, and you go very, very slow um, speed and slow feed. Okay, we'll turn her on. I'm trying to do this with one hand. As you can see, it produces very, very fine, almost like steel wool. Probably only do a few thousandths of it at a time. Go back and we'll get a bit more. Uh, we'll back this up and have a look. Turn all rumble guts off. The noise you can hear is my water pump. Just right next to the. There you go. See if we can get a better focus on that. Okay. It's not a bad finish. Um. pretty good finish we'll try we'll go up here on this outside section which is even harder usually to machine once once you get inside it usually machines a bit better so we'll come into here touch off and I'll give it a bit more Man, have a look at that. There you go. It's a pretty good finish. It's about as good as you're going to get compared to. Alright. I'll stop the video and I'll take the tool out and we can have a good look at it. Okay, here we are back at the workbench. This is a 3 8 one. You can see the angles there, and you've got a slight relief angle on this face. 
and an angle on that face. Okay, that's the only two angles there is. And this is the actual cutting face here. I use a diamond hone and I give them a good polish. Okay, that's a 3 8 that's a bigger one, it's like 12 mil, half inch. This one's the smaller, this one's a 3 8 one that I was using before. Similar sort of deal. I just cut these out with a with a cut off blade on a on a four inch angle grinder, and then I just polish them up. Um, they seem to work fine. There's no sense in uh, spending extra time just at, at the pedestal grinder or bench grinder grinding these. I just hack them out with a with a thin cut off blade, and um, you're only going slow, so there's not much stress on them, and um, you can make one in a couple of minutes. Quick polish up. And you're in business. Um, hopefully that's been helpful for some people. If you're struggling to get a good finish, um, you can use these. These will work on aluminium. They'll work on anything. Um, but usually it's that um, hot rolled, cheap hot rolled steel that you'll struggle to get a good finish on. And you'll get a good finish with these. Thanks.